I cannot advise anyone, any living, rational person to ever watch the main event of this show, okay? <laughs> I cannot advise you to do that. I will not. I don't want to hear it if you watch it. I don't want anyone to get mad at me, okay? So, like, but up until that point, this is one of the best AEW shows they've ever they've ever run. It's the All Out pay-per-view report here today. And at eight minutes ago, we're here on the air. Yeah. I'm not fully recovered. No, I'm not ready to talk about this yet. I expect that at any moment, they are going to announce a new television deal that will be very, very lucrative. But, like, if you watch AEW over the last couple of weeks, it's like, is this thing, like, desperate? <laughs> like, we've had a dude burn down a guy's house. Yeah. Okay, he burned down a guy's house. Yeah. We had a dude try to kill a guy by putting a plastic bag over his head yeah. and suffocating him to death. Yeah. And then we had the main event. Like, this is the kind of stuff that promotions do that are, like, absolutely desperate in their dying hour. Yeah. And that's not what AEW is. Hell of an opener. Hell of an opener. Excellent, excellent match. I guess we'll see what happens with Garcia. I do expect him to re-sign with AEW, but until he does, anything is possible. Jesus Christ, this thing. Holy crap, what a match. The second half of this was awesome and unreal. So you had two technically perfect yeah. people mm -hmm. doing a perfect match. It's five stars. Like, <laughs> I only go to five. Sure. You can give it ten if you want to. Yeah. But, like, this was a perfect wrestling match. Yeah. It was fucking amazing. They had a war here. I gave this four and a quarter stars. Fair. I mean, you On could probably even go more if you wanted to. This had more sustained heat than Osprey and and uh pack it just did i suggested on twitter it may have actually been better and while no one agreed with me no one laughed at me either there was an incident it involved one of the wrestlers who was not on this show and a production person and i don't know what happened i don't have all of the details yet but that is why all of security was racing backstage so mercedes Monet versus akara shida that's fine I feel like I just move on. Claudio and Pac and Moxley destroy Brian Danielson. Pac is holding back Wheeler, who's trying to make the save. Marina's there. Moxley grabs a plastic bag, and he murders him. As the fans chant, this is murder! They're angry, and they want to take this guy out. He's gotten soft. He cares about his goddamn kids, mm. his family, yeah. and retiring. Come on! A lights out steel cage match. Mm, unsanctioned. Very much unsanctioned. No one would sanction this. You guys realize that in like 1992, Rick Rude broke his back because he bumped on the edge of a ramp? Yeah. These guys took power bombs, fucking vertebrakers, on the edge of a cinder block. Yep. Don't do that. No, it's incredibly insane. And then Hangman pulls out a hypodermic needle. Yeah. Jabs it into his flesh. Hangman grabbed, I'm sure, one of those gimmick chairs said this before i talked to someone who's handled one of those shaved down chairs mm -hmm. and they were like still a fucking steel chair dude like it's shaved down but that's still a steel chair fucking murdered this guy with a chair shot to the head and the referee stopped it i cannot rate this match i will not nobody should ever do anything like this again and if you uh paid 49.95 to see two men murder each other well you got your 49.95 worth so it was one for the ages Hey, is this show going to go off without a hitch? So far, so good. Right, Granny? Went over to Granny's to fix it. She goes, you ain't going to fix it. Nah, you ain't. Five minutes it was fixed. And that's all the longer you stayed. But thank you <laughs> for that deep-seated guilt. What kind of sound do you find the most unpleasant? Smoke alarms. But it's not really the apartment? sound, Vinny. It's just it's so loud. No, the sound's pretty horrible. My voice amplified to the sound of a fire alarm. People would die. Ring the bell! Ring the bell! Ring the bell! Outside of winning an Emmy and being friends with the great Vincent Aaron Verhey, mm. what has been your greatest personal achievement? Uh, there's nothing wrong with saying I married a good woman. Still wearing the ring, or any? See? For now. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> She's one of one. Should What Is Vinny Mad About Today be a weekly segment on the show? And watch people in Issaquah just completely mangle a traffic circle. I was screaming. The dude pulls in, right? <laughs> <laughs> he gets right to the curb and he stops now he's blocked the traffic circle no one coming that way can get by him and until he kind of like back and forth shimmies his way out like austin powers unfortunately everyone in front of me is gaining this traffic circle and stopping and staring at him 
We should all be zipping on through. Screw you all. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Undertaker versus Rodman Van Dam. Rodman Van Dam. Van Dam did his best jumping from high places. <laughs> like, not, Shane McMahon. Not wrong. Whatever happened to Brad Maddox from WWE? Said he appeared in some independent wrestling events under the name Mad Braddox. I, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny, but it is. Name the actor who started in the movies Elf. Elf or Elf? Elf. E L F. Elf or Elf? E L Elf. E L Elf. Okay. E L Elf. I said E L F. K L F. Uh huh. Who was the worst female ever to serve on the U.S. Excuse Supreme me, worst Court. or first? <laughs> I said the first. You, okay. said, you actually said the worst. Brian. Why don't you go back and listen before you yell at me? Who was the worst female? Read it again. Sandra Day O'Connor. I'm not going to read it again. Golly. All yeah. right. One more. Three more. Three one more. more. Five more. Five? <laughs> Stop it. Tell me when to quit. Because I don't like this anyway. Na- <laughs> name the drama teen series on HBO, which... Probably you should be able to get this one. one. What is the lowest number which was spelled contains the letter A? It has been raining on my steps and the, the area in front of my house. I looked to my left where the alley is. Totally dry. Yes. And it rained just on me. Yep. Boring. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Get out of here, Granny. We'll see you next week. God. <laughs> They're in Kentucky, where TNA just was, and the crowd is chanting what for this promo, just like TNA just experienced. So I'd avoid Kentucky for the next uh, while if I was a wrestling promotion. Ricochet versus Sammy Guevara. Ricochet quite loved in his home state of Kentucky. As long as you can uh, just ignore the fact that there are theoretically countouts in AEW, and the ref just refused... To even give them a count, he, he politely asked them to please get back in the ring. And when they ignored him, he did nothing. Great match. John Moxley asks Darby for the championship match. Long story short, they agreed to have a match for the title shot because Brian can't wrestle. Right? That's what I understood, yes. Yes. Ten minutes later, Nigel shows up. He wants to talk to Tony. And 20 minutes later, they announce Nigel will be facing Brian Danielson. If Brian Danielson is able to well, wrestle. Well, of course he said that, but he's going to. All right. Okay, that's the match. I mean, that makes no sense, though. I know. <laughs> but what doesn't make sense is promoter Tony Khan okayed removing a world title match from this show in place of a non-title match. Well, he removed a world title match because the champion can't wrestle. Yes. But then booked him in a match anyway. Yes. It's bullshit. That doesn't make any sense. It's unfettered bullshit. Mariah then notes she has still not had her championship celebration because someone is missing. Mina Shirakawa, please come back. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm sure someone's going to tell me how awesome this storytelling is, but as far as destroying cars goes in the history of wrestling... This is low on the list. This, the bottom. Name another time that someone's car, like something happened to it, that was less... Remember? Whatever than this one. And the biggest pop... Yes. The fucking Outrunners. Out come the Outrunners in Kentucky in front of the Ohio Valley crowd. They get a massive pop, and they hit this ring, and you've never seen Babyface fire. Like, well, you have, but from, from the 80s. Osprey struck with a hidden blade. Fletcher rolled him up and pinned him. So it is Fletcher and Osprey versus the Bucks at Grand Slam. The whole show was just, like, fine. Yeah. It was a fine show. It had one completely nonsensical angle, but... Hey, at the end of the day, the nonsensical angle is setting up two matches, which are going to be very fun matches. So I can only complain so much. Due to somewhat conspicuous circumstances, that's her exact words, the Rascals are unable to compete. I don't know for sure that this is what happened, but uh, I think I think Trey needed finger surgery. Mm. And so... Uh, you know, it's weird, like, a finger's little, and I think they said it was a minor surgery, but sometimes that thing can get really fucked up and, like, mess with you for life. Mm. So it is Nathan Fraser and Axiom versus the Street Profits. Man, his Angelo Dawkins can move, dude. Dude, Angelo Dawkins and Nathan Fraser were so great. So great. 
And everybody kind of goes nuts. Holy shit, Tamatanga's here. Mm. And then all of a sudden, Jacob fucking Fatu flies in out of nowhere, and they went nuts. Yeah. Because they see him as like a main event he is a tip- guy on the main roster. A tippy top main roster guy. Yes. Monday Night Raw's going to two hours. I don't even watch the show, and I'm happy. Yeah. It seems to be a better world with Monday Night Raw, Monday Night Raw being a two hour show. It's only three months, though. Oh. Well, still, enjoy the three months. I will. Yeah. Will I ever? Chelsea's not terrible, but she's in there with Julia, mm-hmm. and you watch Julia's offense, and then Chelsea gets the heat, and it's like, what? It's jarring. It's actually jarring. They, they, they did not look like they were doing the same no. sport. This should not have been 50-50. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know who decided to have Lexus King take over Carmelo's barbershop gimmick, but they're a genius. Oh, yeah, this fucking beard and He's head. He's at the barbershop. Getting his absolutely ridiculous beard worked on. It's so stupid. <laughs> In a good way. This was the least heated match of Javon Evans' career. It's just like everything I talk about week after week. I have to hear about it on Friday. Such and such mad at you. You're blah, 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 blah. But like, I'm not wrong about any of this. There. You know what I hear every Friday? Hmm. He'll be fine. Hmm. He's only 21. Oh, I'm sure. In five He'll years, he'll be fine. fine. Your goal is not for guys to be fine. Yeah. Your goal is to get people over. But no, he'll be fine. 25, 26, he may go up to the main roster, whatever. Then we'll try to get him over. Jordan Grace walking backstage, exchanges glances with Julia. Ooh. NBA and Olympic star Tyrese Halliburton wants to show up next week. And HBK's response was, watch out for the parking lot, brother. <laughs> That's actually funny. <laughs> that was funny. So it is Trick Williams versus Pete Dunn, last man standing. They're both down. Trick is at least on his knees. So Ethan, because Pete won't get up, he decides to charge at Trick Williams to take him out. But as he runs from his knees, Trick backdrops him. Ethan fucking flies through the air, crashes through the announce table. And in launching him, Trick ends up on his feet. Yes. The ref goes, ring the bell! This was one of the best that was so awesome. finishes to a fucking stupid last man standing match I ever saw. Yeah. It was great. I thought it was a great wrestling TV show. This was much, much better than last week. Still a few things we can fix before CW. Room for improvement. Yes, but overall, much, much better show. Yeah. And a great finish for the main event. <laughs>